How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People. And I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on living like you mean it. Many of us have heard the importance of learning to be present, of living in the now, but how many of us are actually really living it? How many of us really understand what that even means or how to do it? So today, I'll briefly touch upon this by emphasizing that we need to live like we really mean it. This means we need to learn to identify the silent presence behind all experience and to live by having our intention in whatever it is that we may be doing. Living from a place of presence, we do not let life just happen to us or to let this present moment go by unnoticed. We are here in an integrated way, fully and vividly, as our attention and intention. We are in our life, living it as it unfolds. Many spiritual people have used the inquiry, who am I, to probe the depths of their being. But an equally useful question to constantly pose to yourself is, am I here? Which can be easier to grasp for many people. This is not asking if we are awake or aware in the usual sense, but who is aware or is anyone even home right now? Is our awareness so spread out that we aren't aware of being aware this instant? Or am I here fully present to the moment through awareness of my body, my mind, my feelings, and my surroundings? Am I here being an active participant of my life or is life just happening without my active conscious participation and I am simply living through the reactions of my subconscious programming, my old conditioning that is mechanical in nature and doesn't require my conscious volition. My unconscious tendencies are then living my life. All the while I am asleep at the wheel while mistakenly dreaming that I am still in the driver's seat in charge of my life. So living like we mean it is to be here now living our life as our attention and intention. Being simultaneously aware of our thoughts, emotions, the body sensitive energies moment to moment. Doing this we can learn to not identify with our old patterns. We learn to see them in action clearly and if I can see it I don't have to be it. Freeing up this locked up energy, and you can think of your attention as a combination of our energy and our will, we are then able to actively direct our attention more consciously. By actively directing our attention, it aligns our various functions of thinking, feeling, and sensing in a coherent way. Usually, most of us are thinking one thing, feeling another, and sensing a third. So by having our energy scattered, we are not able to attend to the moment in a wholesome way. It is our will, our big I, that directs and acts through our attention. You will see that actively directed attention carries a certain degree of presence with it. Eventually, we can be in a position where we effortlessly allow our free attention and the intention of our higher will to be lived through us in real time, if we can open up to our attention, we can invite ever increasing amounts of presence from our higher will to descend upon us and will lead us to being totally here and now. The unknown has made itself known to us. Our true self then becomes self obvious. So for the next few days, constantly ask yourself, Am I here? And then to live your life like you really mean it, even if it's only for a few seconds. And then you can see that at the end of the day, you will see that moment was the most meaningful part of your day because you were living it like you really mean it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please share with anyone who may find it useful. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe, hit the little notification bell also so you know when I upload new content. 
And until next time, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.